Windows 8 is one of the most controversial operating systems of all time. Coming off the release of one of Microsoft's most popular operating systems of all time, Windows 7, Microsoft decided that they were going to start catering to a different market. You see, by the time of 2011 and 2012, smartphones and tablets were starting to take over the market. And Microsoft was afraid if they didn't adapt to this, they would be left behind in this new technological era. Microsoft, prematurely believing that the era of the personal computer was over, took their flagship OS, Windows, and completely converted it to a handheld system. They went so far even to create their own smartphone and tablet lineup that would ship with an ARM-based version of Windows 8, believing people would see the familiar name and instantly flock to these new devices. But as we know today, that didn't really go very far and it was a complete flop. And all Microsoft did was irritate longtime Windows users that were familiar with the classic Windows UI, feel completely disenfranchised whenever they had to switch over to this weird new tablet mode that didn't really work right on desktops. Despite this though, there are still people that use Windows 8 and 8.1. Even though in 2023 Microsoft announced the end of life for Windows 8 and 8.1. And now that many applications are making their system requirements require Windows 10 or 11, what can you actually still manage to do on Windows 8? So that's what I went ahead and did in this video. I went ahead and created a brand new virtual machine, went through the Windows 8 install process, and got to running some programs. So before we get into the video, go ahead and remember to like and subscribe, and leave a comment below let me know of any other things you would like to see me do. But either way, let's get right into Windows 8. Eight. All right, so here we are with Windows 8. This is probably everyone's least favorite operating system. I've actually never used it. So whenever I upgraded to Windows 10, I actually skipped over 8. So I never actually used this. I know of people that used it and they didn't really like it, but I skipped over 8 and 8.1. This is actually um, Windows 8 Pro build 9200. Um, so this is the RTM release of Windows, Windows 8. And, uh, yeah, so this is not Windows 8.1. I wanted to do this on Windows 8 RTM because I thought it would be pretty cool. And you don't really see a lot of people using, uh, or making videos about the RTM release of Windows 8 anymore. It's really about Windows 8.1. But either way, this whole video is going to be pretty much just like the XP Vista and 7 video. We're going to see what we can still run. I imagine we're still going to be able to run quite a few things. Um, but before we get into that, I do want to kind of explore the UI here. As we see, we do have the start menu, which was what made Windows 8 famous. You have all the icons. It's made to be used on like tablets and handhelds. This never really took off, obviously. I know this feature is still in Windows 10, and I'm pretty sure you can still find tablet mode in Windows 11, but I'm not sure. Um, I, I've never used Windows 11, so I'm not really sure. But Either way, um, you have the desktop menu here. I didn't actually didn't know the uh, desktop thing was in the RTM release of Windows 8. I thought that was an 8.1 thing, but uh, I guess it was in Windows the RTM 8. Point, or the RTM Windows 8. Sorry. But either way, I noticed uh, whenever I was trying to change the resolution, I went over to the settings menu, and this is like the worst settings menu I've ever seen. If I can get to it, where there there was a oh here we go. I was wondering how you get to it. This is like the worst, and no, I have not activated this, <laughs> obviously. But no, this is the worst settings menu like I've ever seen, or this is one of the worst. Like there's really like not a whole lot you can do here. Like obviously you got the notifications. This is kind of the pre precursor of what a uh, replace control panel in Windows 10. So I guess this is kind of a precursor to that settings menu, but this is not really good and I can't even change like the resolution on here. And this is wrong, obviously. It's on Eastern time. I was wondering why my clock was wrong. But uh yeah, this is I mean, we're not even, obviously, we're not getting updates anymore. I guess it could shit, yeah. So we're not getting those updates anymore. I forgot how we get out of here. How do we get out? There we go. It doesn't even tell you how to get out of there. You just click the, for the left corner of the screen to get out of it. Okay. But yeah, you can search up here for different apps. Um, the control panel is still the main way to do everything. That's like, that's the only way I could do the screen resolution. The theme engine is still a thing. 
which is pretty cool. We can go to like the high contrast theme here on the desktop mode, which is pretty cool. I still think it's really sad that this is not in Windows 10 or 11. I, I wish the theme engine was still a thing, but sadly this is what we have. But uh, it's the last version that the theme engine is a part of, so really sad. But you can still get like Windows Arrow and all that. This is kind of like Windows Arrow. But uh, yeah, so that's that. There's I don't really think there's a whole lot more to really look at. Um, PowerShell's in here. WordPad. <laughs> they removed that from Windows 11, I believe. Um, but yeah, Windows Media Player's still here. They even got a sound recorder. Uh, remote desktop. But yeah, everything's still pretty much in here. You got your file explorer. And yeah, here's some of the, uh, apps I'm going to install. See if they still work. We got Brave, Dolphin, Firefox, Gimp, Firefox, Gimp, GOG, Melon DS, Shotcut, Steam, Visual Boy Advance because I've really been into Game Boy Advance games, VLC because I made the mistake of making a comment about VLC in my Windows 7 video, so I'm going to make that right in this one, and WinRAR because, yeah, I still use that. And as you guys can see, I use Google Chrome because there's no way I'm using Internet Explorer. We might as well just go ahead and un unpin that. There's no start button, sadly. It just sends you back to the tiles here. But yeah, either way, let's get into it. Um, Steam actually shocked me last time, but... So, we're going to try to install Steam. We're going to run this anyway. I'm going to let it install. I would be shocked if this didn't run and it ran on Windows 7. So we're going to let Steam update here. While it's doing that, we might as well go ahead and see if the um, Brave, Bra Brave browser still runs. The, the version of Google Chrome that I got is an extended release version, so I'm not really sure if Brave does this or not, and I highly doubt it. But we'll see anyway. They, it might. Alright, so yeah, it did the same thing with Windows 7, so yeah, it's not, it's not going to let me do it. So... We do have Firefox. I didn't install Firefox in the Windows 7 video, so uh, we kind of missed out on this one. This is definitely going to work. This is made for Windows 8 and 7, 8.1. So this will definitely work. This is another extended release version. All right, so Firefox is now has now finished installing. It's on our taskbar now. It even says it's on our start menu now. Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. But um. So I think Firefox is about to launch here in a second. While we're at it, might as well go, go ahead and install GIMP. We're doing a lot of things at one time. I'm sure my virtual machine is having a really good time. All right, so I'm just going to have us select a language here. You can now do the install process for GIMP. It's pretty straightforward. This has usually always been my go-to uh, Photoshop replacement. Pretty much, pretty much is everybody's go-to Photoshop-like replacement if you don't want to pay for that. Uh, this is usually how I make all my thumbnails. I, I do have a copy of Photoshop, but I just don't... I've used GIMP for so long that I just don't know how to use it. So, I still make all my thumbnails and pretty much everything I need in GIMP still. So this is usually still my go-to software for any sort of image creation software. Alright, so GIMP finally finished installing. It actually took a lot longer than I thought it would, but either way we can hit finish, and I don't think it automatically de opens. Yeah, I don't think it automatically opens, so we're gonna try to open it here. Oh, it's not start because API MS win CRT string. Just a DLL, DLL file was missing. Interesting. Well, that's strange. It worked on Windows 7. I'm pretty sure it's literally just a DLL file that is missing, so if you found that, it would probably still work, actually. I don't know. We might get back to that later. I'm not sure. But while GIMP was still installing, Steam did finally finish up, and yeah, it runs just like it does in Windows 7. It still says Steam will stop running in, on Windows 8 in zero days, just like it did with Windows 7, so that's still kind of strange. But yeah, it, it all still works. It has my game library and everything. So uh, 
towards the end of the video we'll try out some games even though we are on a virtual machine that's going to kind of mess things up but we'll try it anyway since that's what we've traditionally done on these videos even though it really doesn't make a difference but yeah um i think the next thing we can try is probably vlc go ahead and run that i know i made a comment in the windows 7 video that a lot of people didn't like yeah we're going to go ahead and install this only got 16 gigabytes left to work with. I didn't give this thing a whole lot of uh, space. All right, so here we go. We can run a VLC media player. Pop up here. Yep, we can continue, and there you go. So this obviously still worked. I'd be surprised if it didn't. This thing probably, I think VLC runs on Windows XP still. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So we got VLC on here. Everybody should be happy now. We'll go ahead and install WinRAR. I know... A lot of people use 7-Zip instead of WinRAR, WinRAR, but I'm very familiar with this. So This is another one that runs on pretty much anything. I'm sure this still runs on Windows 2000. But here we go. We'll let it do that. And there we go. So yeah, we have that installed. I'm pretty sure GOG Galaxy won't work. We'll try it anyway. Um... This one didn't work in Windows 7, so I'm pretty sure it won't work on Windows 8 or 8.1 either. A lot of these apps are going to like 10 and 11 only. All right, so the GOG Galaxy Web Installer tells me I can't connect to GOG.com. So this is pretty much what happened in Windows 7, so we're not going to be able to do that. All right, so that's all I'm going to install on here besides those emulators and maybe some games. But first, we need to install VMware Tools. I sh in every video I do on Windows, I install this way too late, I know, but this should be like the first thing I do, but I, I never do it. So we're just going to install this. Let this pop up here in a second. All right, so that popped up. We're going to run. Run that. It's going to do the typical VMware tools installation. Going to give us a bunch of drivers. That could, uh, that could help our... GIMP issue. That could be the solution for that. All right, so it requires us to restart our system, so that's what we'll do. We'll let it go ahead and restart. All right, so we're logging back in here. We have all of our new apps over here. I don't think... I guess it's not going to make us do our screen, resol screen le resolution again. It's like, can't say it. Um, we go to control panel. Oh, Steam's starting already. Let's go over here to adjust our screen resolution. Yeah, still all stayed the same. Let's see if GIMP still has that error. I I don't know if that would have fixed it or not, but maybe it would have, and I'm just stupid enough not to uh, install VMware tools sooner. But I highly doubt that's going to fix this. Figured as we're waiting for GIMP, it'd be a good time to check out the Task Manager. I wasn't really sure if they updated the look at Task Manager yet, and... Yeah, it's, it looks just like the uh, Windows 10 one, so yeah, I was wondering what this looked like. I didn't know if they updated it to from what it looked like in 7 or not, but uh, yeah, this is kind of what you see in Windows 10 today. The buttons still aren't completely up, updated yet, but yeah, it all looks pretty decent. Oh wow, it actually works. Okay, so... Yeah, just whenever you do this, if you're doing this on a virtual machine, which I highly recommend, by the way, because this doesn't, like, receive any sort of malware updates or, like, any sort of security updates. So I definitely recommend doing this on a virtual machine. Don't connect this to the Internet very often. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, it's just not really safe to do so. And, uh, yeah, so if you do, do, like, actually do this on a virtual machine... Install VMware tools first before you do any of the stuff. I've made that mistake like four times in a row now. But here we go. It all works. Or, yeah. Actually looks better than it did in Windows 7, actually. Create a new 1920 by 1080 image. We'll see uh, if there's any pictures in here. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Windows Vista had some like default wallpapers in here, but... I guess they removed that. So I guess we can take take our little draw tool here. There we go. 
So all that still works. It would work perfectly fine if I made a thumbnail in here. I guarantee you it looks exactly the same. It's Well, it is the same version. I think we tried this on Windows 2000. I think it was 2000. I had to have an older version of it. It could have been the XP video. But uh, I tried to make a thumbnail in it, but it was just so different compared to what it is now. It's It was just not fun to use. But either way, we have ended this part of the video. I'm going to uh, install some games, and we're going to try those out here at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's try some of those out. So the first game I tried to install was Lego Batman. Obviously I was going to do a Lego game in this. We've done that the past three times we've made this type of video. But instead of Lego Star Wars, it's just Lego Batman this time. Whenever I was trying to install it, I actually almost killed the virtual machine because it was locking up really bad. I've noticed with these newer versions of Windows that my PC really can't run them on a virtual machine. It, they're really demanding. Which means if I want to keep making these types of videos, I really need to invest in some actual hardware and ways to record it. But it did finally managed to finish installing and after installing some prerequisites the game started just fine and believe it or not after having so much of a problem just installing the game this actually ran really smoothly and i was actually kind of surprised there was really no lagging at all and everything was just really smooth and as you can see i am slowly starting to get used to the keyboard controls i'm not as bad with them as i was in lego star wars so i guess i am improving the next game i installed was minecraft but it actually gave me a little bit more trouble this time i tried to install it via the regular launch launcher and the legacy launcher and they both didn't work. At first I thought it was just because I didn't have Java installed so I went ahead and installed it, but that did nothing and it still didn't run. I almost completely gave up trying to install Minecraft, but then I thought maybe I could try to install it via the Betacraft launcher. And this actually worked. The only problem is, is that the newest version you can go up to is 1.4. But if you're like me and you like the older versions better anyway, this isn't really a problem. What is a problem though is that the mouse drivers for this virtual machine are still not correct making pretty much any first person game completely unplayable. But this has nothing to do with Windows 8, this is just the VM. The next and the last game that I tried was Terraria. And I picked this one because I realized I didn't really have any more space on this hard drive, or well, the virtual one, to fit a larger game, so I just went ahead and installed this one because it is actually a pretty cool game. And thankfully Terraria didn't give me any problems, and it was completely playable, which I imagine it probably would be because it did come out during the time of Windows 8, so I would have been surprised if this didn't run on Windows 8. But yeah, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I actually had quite a few issues making this video. My hard drive went out, pretty much meaning I had to scramble and get everything back on this new one, among other things happening. But now that I got everything fixed, hopefully we can kind of get back on more of a normal video schedule, and I can get back on my projects I was working on before I broke my hard drive. But I want to say a special thanks to my super supporters on screen here. They are a massive help to the channel, and if you would like to become a super supporter yourself, go ahead and hit that join button down below. And I also want to mention that I have a new merch store with much better prices than the last one. So if you guys would want to check out some merch, go ahead and hit the link down below. I also restarted my Patreon because a lot of people were asking me about it, so that link is also in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want more content like it, please subscribe. See you guys in the next one.